Tobruk! Welcome! We're back with episode 15. There ain't no beers cracking open tonight because I'm cracking open this juicy fucking burger. You are peaking as fuck. <laughs> uh, we're out in the Bridal Brook, <coughs> out in the swamp. We have a fire, if, in case you didn't hear it. Cars in the background, just like the other episode. Hopefully it's not as loud and a little more uh, tame than our Irish episode. Because that was loud as fuck. I do not have the gain up that high. But yeah, this is exciting. We're out here making swamp burgers over a fire. And this fucking grill is now burning my knee. That's, our first fall fire. That's got to go. We'll just um, uh, taste the maples in there. Like I don't want to like just flip it because it is a heat supply, but I also don't want to like it burning my knee off. There you go. Oh, and oh, there goes oh. all the wood. Oh, sorry. We got a pile. Oops. Yep. We'll just throw some of that on there, and then. Ow! Yeah, you're gonna have to kick that. Ah, shit! It's a good heat supply. Perfect. Ah, well, there goes my heat. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. Ah. All right. Start this podcast off officially. Uh, oh, hold on. I can't start off officially yet. I'm gonna put this down. Grab a, a flannel Friday on a Saturday. Flannel Saturday, Friday. Just pop that off. Oh, it didn't pop off. What the fuck? There we go. I know it came off because it hit me in the head. And just... Wow. Two minutes of wasted time. And absolutely nothing. Yep. All right. Typical. It's usually what happens. Ohio! Straight out of Ohio! Uh, 14% of our listeners, which is no longer, you guys got beaten by, uh, I think, Washington, which is a higher but, number. It's fucking pathetic, Ohio. And it was only in Columbus. So, and you lost to multiple cities in Washington State. So, you are no longer our number one listeners besides Massachusetts. You are now number two. I don't even know how you found us. No, me neither. That's a big mystery. Is, uh, who saw Swamp Talk and decided that was a good podcast to listen to? And told your friends, like, hey, you should check out this podcast. Don't do that. So it comes with that is fucked laws. Fuck! 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 <laughs> okay, so first, fuck law. Women are prohibited from wearing patent leather shoes in public. Don't wear fucking Why? whatever patent leather shoes are. Why? I don't know. I probably should have done a, uh, a deep dive on this. Yeah, because that's kind of fucked. But uh, maybe it's a prostitution thing. I don't know. Who the fuck wears leather anyways? It's illegal to fish for whales on a Sunday. In Ohio. Ohio. Well, I mean... I, yeah. I mean, maybe... It's fucked. Maybe whatever Great Lake is by Ohio has whales. I never heard of freshwater whales, but if it's a thing, uh, send us a picture on either our Facebook or email us at uh, DylanStreetBoys at gmail.com because no one ever gets a hold of us ever. And any input would be great. Which yeah. No one will ever do anyways, but I'm going to put it out there anyways. But, uh, so, on top of that one, it is also illegal to get a fish drunk. I mean, that makes more sense than fishing for whales, since I don't think there's anything such thing as freshwater whales. In Ohio. In Ohio, on the Great Lakes. I don't remember what Great Lake it is. I'm going to say... 
a shitty one? Uh, I'm actually going to look it up right now. Well, you should also look up how these laws got put into place and why they got put into place because that's even more of an interesting story. Someone probably, like, got a helicopter and brought a fucking whale. Just dropped a fucking whale on all of Ohio. Ohio, Cleveland, Lake Erie. So it's, it is kind of eerie if there's fucking whales in Lake Erie. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, Lake Erie. Ah, God, I'm sorry. You guys are so close to Detroit. I feel bad for you. I feel bad for you. Anyways, law number two. (coughs) No, four. Three. Four. Oh, yeah. Uh. Ohio driver's education manual states that you must honk the horn whenever you pass another car. Why'd you say it like that? Honk. Honk a horn. Honk a horn. A honk a horn. A honk a horn. That must be one loud city. I don't know about you, but constantly in, honking. in our small town of 55,000, there's constantly... No honking. Constantly cars driving by, but there's no honking. Yeah, nice and peaceful. How it should be. Just imagine having a nice peaceful ride. And then some dude drives by you honking his horn. It must be real. Listen, you could hear the cars in the background. You know what's good? Tortellini. Yeah, the tortellini was pretty good. Fucking tortellini's fucking bomb. You can hear cars in the background because we're outside in the swamp. If you're quiet enough, you can hear me eating tortellini. There's no fucking honking. Want to know why? Because it's fucking annoying. What the fuck is wrong with you, Ohio? There's no tortellini because you want to know why? I finished it. Oh, we honk all the time because we're straight, we're straight out of Ohio. Straight Ohio honk, honk on the Ohio. Man, just imagine listening to all this nature and stuff, and just constantly hearing honking. Like, honk. The only honk you're going to hear out here is a Canadian geese. Which we've heard a shit ton of. Tonight. Yeah, there's a lot of them out today. Uh, it's dark out, so they must all be uh, wherever they go at night. Uh, <clears> south. <throat> yeah, they could be going to South County. Nope, they just... they're going to Florida. Also, posting signs at swimming pools is illegal in Akron. Acorn? Yeah. Acon. I missed one. It is illegal for more than five women to live in a house. Uh, what if you have, like, a wife and four daughters? Well, one of them's got to fucking move. Five do- yeah, one of them's got to Well, by like... that time, I would think that maybe no. one of them would be 18. Yeah, the wife. She's 18 or no older, She's so gotta go. she, yeah, you got to get her out. She's got to go. <laughs> Anyways, back to the illegal, <clears throat> back to uh, posting signs at swimming pools being illegal in a cron. How the fuck are you going to tell people not to run or dive in the shallow end? It is also illegal. Just hire a guy, I guess, to tell people not to run. It is also illegal in Akron to display colored chickens for sale. Why are you coloring your chickens? That sounds racist as fuck. Yeah, what the fuck? Racist against chickens. You can only sell white chickens? Unbelievable. How many color chickens are there? Like, is that... So I guess you just gotta guess what kind of chicken you're gonna get. It's also illegal to walk a cow down uh, Lake Road in Bay Village. Yeah, so for all you Bay Village residents, uh, don't be walking cows. That is as useless as me knowing that you can't drag drag your dead horse down Young Street in Toronto. Because I don't even know where that is. I don't know where... (laughs) Bay Villages. Well, actually, just I'm know look, that I'm gonna, on Lake Road you can't. I'm gonna look that up. Where is Lake Road? I don't even know what town it is. Oh no! Wait, what was the name again? Oh, know. Bay Village. Let's see if this makes sense. It won't. Oh look at that! It's a small town on a lake. Yeah, makes sense. Right next to uh, whatever the city is in Ohio. Um, Cleveland. I'd say it's a 20-minute drive, maybe. Half hour. Uh, yeah, sure. 
Uh, are there even fucking... Absolutely no farms in this town. So I guess it kind of makes a little sense not to walk a cow, because you'd be, probably be the only one with a cow. Walking, walking down the street. And it's not like any major roads are in that town. They all seem pretty small. I'd never been there, so I wouldn't know. I guess the cows would be in Huntington Reservation. I don't know, that still doesn't make sense. I don't know any of that shit. <clears throat> Just don't, I don't know walk your cow while. down the street in Bay Village. The installation usage of slot machines and outhouses is prohibited. Well, I guess in you can't Bexley. Piss, can't piss in an outhouse either. That's fucking nice. What, you're not allowed outside? How do they even know, like, what casino? Um, what casino puts slot machines in their outhouse anyways? An outhouse is literally just a hole uh, and a door. And you just somebody go in there did and it. Shit. Somebody must yeah, have done it. Yeah, that means somebody did it. Somebody did somebody it. Somebody did it. Somebody pissed off somebody. And now you can't. Now none well, of us can have You are gambling in the fucking toilet? <sighs> That's no fair. Because I have to go to the toilet and I can't gamble in there. So you can't. If someone loses their pet tiger... They must notify the authorities within one hour. That makes sense. What also, but what also doesn't make sense is why the fuck do you have a tiger? What are you, Tiger King? And speaking of Tiger King, God, I missed that period of the lockdown. <laughs> it was so peaceful. It was. Everyone just sitting in their house watching Tiger King all day. No hate. Oops. Fucking just everyone coming up with TikTok videos that suck. No one ever watched before quarantine. Anyways, next on our list is Towns in Ohio. First one on our list is uh, Knock 'em Stiff. Knock 'em Stiff. Uh, pronounced just as it's spelled. Knock 'em Stiff. Uh, this small town in Ross County, near uh, Chillicoff, now has a literary reputation thanks to author Donald Ray Pollock. Donald Rapist? So it doesn't make any sense. But uh, I guess you just knock him stiff in that town. Yeah. I mean, that's got a 10 out of 10 fucking uh, uh, town name. Coolville, where all the cool kids oh, go. Oh, yeah, uh-huh. there's definitely... Uh-huh. I mean, if a town's named Coolsville in fucking Ohio, it's got to be cool. It's got to be so cool. I bet it's so cool that in 1918, Coolville was platted by Simon W. Cool. No, 1818. 1818, for whom it was named. The village was incorporated in 1835. By the 1830s, Coolville contained two stories. Oh, two stores. What the hell's a grits mill? A grits mill, or I guess they make grits. And a sawmill. And a lovely, lovely sawmill. Ah, yes. Mm. Coolsville had mm. been noted for its unusual place name. Mm. The village is located close to three other hot slash cold communities. What? What? Hot slash cold? Torch and Frost. Both unincorporated communities in Athens County and Snowsville and Meigs, Me Megs, Megs, Meigs County. Fuck you, Meg. That's cool. There's Torch, Frost, and Snowville. That sounds like a place I'd rather. Yeah, I mean, uh, go is than... this the, this sounds like somewhere Santa Claus would live? Yeah, if Santa Claus is American. It's probably where he'd live. Other than that town that's called South Pole, uh, I don't remember the name, but I'm pretty sure we touched on it in an early episode. Blue Ball! I mean, maybe this is where Blue Balls came from? Who knows? Local legend says the town council changed the name of the town in the 1800s to reflect a landmark, a blue metal sphere that was suspended above the intersection of two highways in the middle of the town. Because passerby, or passerby. Yeah, passerby had trouble reading the town's original sign. 
Who's so they had to put a huge ball in the air. I'm gonna look this up. I'm gonna look up this town. Where is it's, it on Google Maps? There was a highway in the 1800s. <laughs> the guess, fuck? Probably just a highway of horses. <laughs> well, I uh, guess it wasn't that busy. Um, blue ball. Oh, I guess there's a blue ball Pennsylvania too. Oh, it's in Middletown. I want to see this shit. Where's this blue ball? Can you go right in there? How did they, uh... I don't see a blue ball. It's a fucking lie. There's no fucking blue ball. It was a blue metal sphere. How did they construct that back in the 1800s? Oh, probably horses and shit. <laughs> Anyways. Ra Reminderville. Just a reminder. Reminderville was incorporated in 1955. That's pretty new. Uh, Clement L. Reminder, an elderly mayor. Early. Jesus Christ. An early an mayor. early mayor. <laughs> gave the village... His name. Wow, uh, how thoughtful. I'm going to give this village the greatest name that has ever been thunked of. Me, Clement L. Reminder, will now re name this village Reminderville, just to remind everyone who's the mayor. Wow, the moon looks pretty dope tonight. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, it does. I was like, what was that light? I don't remember a light being out there, but it's not a light. It's a fucking moon. Moonhead moon. just peeked up over the mountaintops. Hey, guess what, Ohio? Go fuck yourself. Go, go, go back go, yourself. Ohio gets its name from uh, Uruguay. Uruguay. Ohio. Queefios. Oyo. Are you guys fucking Japanese? What? What is this? The word Ohi, Ohio, meaning Great River. Oh no, you guys are Indian. Okay. Yeah, Uruguay. Ah. Uh, I know that uh, because I played Civilization Five, and you can play as the Uruguay away. I still might be pronouncing it wrong. I'm just assuming. <laughs> Ohio is known as the Buckeye State because the Buckeye trees commonly found throughout the Ohio River Valley. The plants produce small brown nuts that look like the eye of a deer. It is said that carrying one in your pocket is good luck. Good luck, guys. Yeah, good luck for whoever's carrying one of them. Ohio native James Riddy. Invented the cash register in 1878. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck, dude. We have, we have a cash register. Wait, do we have cash? No, we should invest in one, though. Yeah, we should. As a saloon owner, Riddy had a problem with his employees stealing his money. He got the idea of a machine that kept track of the money transactions while uh, looking at machinery on a steamboat in Europe. In Europe? How the fuck does that... Uh, well, how... Wait, how... Why were you in Europe and you own this place in Ohio? Why did you have a steamboat? Yeah, why? Yeah. What's wrong with you, James Riddy? You're a fucking conundrum. Oh, before the Red Sox, the Boston Red Sox. Woo! There are the Cincinnati Red Stockings, founded in 1869. That's a good year. Hey, well, you know what? Guess who got to keep their name first? Because... <sighs> Field invented baseball. Yeah, apparently, apparently, allegedly, allegedly. Uh, found in 1869, they were the first professional baseball team. Oh shit! Wow, I didn't know that. So, how were we the first people, or how did we invent baseball? Well, <laughs> we probably weren't the first. We might have invented it, but we didn't have the first team. Uh, professional team. True. Professional. Oh, boy. This one's going to be great. The Cuyahoga River has caught on fire at least, at least, 
13 fucking times. It's aptly nicknamed the river that caught fire. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Clever that is nickname. so good. I wouldn't have never thought of that. Wow. That's like name this tree the tree that lost its leaves in fall. <laughs> Anyways, the river was one of the most uh, polluted rivers in the, co- in the country and would catch fire after sparks from a train would fall into the water. Holy shit, that's worse than uh, Silver Lake. I don't even think Silver Lake actually ever caught on fire. No, ours was just polluted. Yeah, it was just polluted and never froze in the winter. Uh, I don't fucking know. It's not polluted that much anymore, I guess. Yeah, you can swim in there. You can, but then, you know, you could drown like that guy that drowned in there. Yeah, it's true too. Uh, la, 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 la. After a highly media covered fire in 1969, Congress uh, was inspired to clean up pollution across the country and established the Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA. Holy shit! All because of this river that you have, Ohio, that you polluted so much that a fucking spark caught it on fire 13 times at least. That's fucking crazy. Get your shit together. Get your shit together. Uh, the next one we have to look up. Uh. <sighs> Holidays, Holidays on, on this on day. day. Holidays on this day. It's National Foundation Day in South Korea. Iraqi Independence Day in Iraq. First day of Sukkot. And, uh, uh, I don't know, it's a Jewish holiday. It doesn't really give me any countries. Uh, Daylight Savings Time starts in Australia. Good oh, for you guys. Yeah. We're in a couple weeks. Yeah, we still uh, got a couple weeks. Oh, here's another one. A day of Sukkot. Again, it doesn't show me the holidays, but it's listed twice. Uh, Marazan's Day in Honduras. National Day, Golden Week holiday in China. Uh, there's another fucking Sukkot. Uh, wine Day Jesus in Jesus Christ, how much sucking are they fucking doing? I don't know. Wine Day, Day 1 in Moldova. Hey, oh, wine day. That's pretty cool. And it's not even the. It's not even just one day. It's day one. Oh that's, shit! My fucking place, man. Yeah, I don't like wine, but I'd go there. Day of German unity in Germany. In case you didn't know that. National boyfriend day. I guess it's worldwide because it doesn't name any. Oh, good. Thank God places. I'm single. Yeah. Uh, National Techies Day. All, you hear that fucking plane? Techies? Like the fucking... Techies. Like the food? No, just um, technology oh, for people techies. who love technology. You fucking hear that plane? It's a loud fucking plane. Could be a oh my god, is it coming closer? It sounds like a helicopter. Here, yeah, let's turn this up so you can hear the helicopter slash plane. They are getting closer. Oh, shit. Anyways, that's the holidays on this day. Um, and the day that this will air uh, doesn't... What is... Oh, oh okay. And then uh, that's for Saturday, today, when we're recording this. I see it through the trees. Oh, no. Focus. Think... Yep. Yeah. That's what I see. The helicopter's coming this way now. Ooh, here it comes. Here, I'll turn off the volume so you can hear it. Oh, that's not the volume. <laughs> this is the volume. Turn off the people. So, during oh this God, podcast... Hold on, hold on. That was fucking loud. So, during this... So, during this podcast, I spilled beer all in my chair. I just held it over the fire for two minutes, and this shit's dry. So if you ever need to dry your chair, hold it over a fire for two minutes. So the day that this airs, which is October 5th. Oh! Oh. Yeah. 
Oh, is, no, uh, that's not fucking dry. World Shit. Teacher's Day. Wait, is it? Or isn't it? I don't know. Me either. I don't know. Either. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn it this way. Uh, October 5th. I'll look right at you. World Teacher's Day. Yeah, World uh, Teacher's Day. World Habitat Day. Fuck. Constitution Day in Vanuatu. Unuata? Uh, Republic Implantation Day in Portugal. The Queen's Birthday in Australia. Uh, Labor Day in Australia. There you go. You guys got two holidays in one. Oh, wow. Uh, cool. Child Health Day in the United States. We don't celebrate that. Yeah, no. Uh, Thanksgiving Day in St. Lucia. <gasps> Thanksgiving? Uh, yeah, uh, Canada's Thanksgiving Day is coming up too. Unless it already passed. Uh, I just know that their Thanksgiving is in October. Uh, who? Peat cutting day, Monday in Falkland Islands. Falkland Islands. Uh, National Day Golden Week holiday in China again. Oh, day three of Suck Hut. Uh, National Get Funky Day. Get Fuck Day. National Rhode Island Day. National Do Something Nice Day. These are all Monday. Today. Um, they oh all sound God. like shit holidays. National Apple Petty Day. Uh, National, what about Tom Petty? I don't know. National Congestion Day. <laughs> and that was the last one. So, yeah. Uh, today, for Monday, is a huge day. Huge day uh, for holidays. That's pretty cool. I wish it was our Thanksgiving, because I can go for some turkey right now. Some good-ass turkey. Florida. Florida. The fuck did Florida do now? Ha, huh. well, this guy threw Bibles at deputies. A Marion County man is in jail after police say he threw a Bible at officers who were responding to a burglary call. He probably stole the Bibles. That's why he threw it out at the officers. According to Marion County's office, uh, Robert Hoskins uh, confronted the deputies and yelled, I commend you! Before throwing a Bible towards the deputies. Whatever protection Hoskins thought he was, he had, uh, was quickly proven false as he was immediately tased. <laughs> I'm just picturing it in my head right now. Uh, you can see the stills from the arrest uh, below on this website, which you, you're not going to see. Hoskins has been charged with burglary and, uh, and battery on law enforcement. <laughs> on law enforcement? Yeah. Wow, those cops suck. <laughs> he threw a Bible at them. <laughs> and the picture's pretty funny. Like, this dude is legit. In his underwear, no shirt on. Throwing Bibles at deputies. <laughs> That's fucking Florida for you, man. I'm gonna pick another one up. Uh, October 1st. Oh, no, it's the same one. All right, here we go. This is from last year, uh, last October. Florida man accused of forcing small alligator to, to drink beer. Authorities say they've arrested a Florida man who provoked a small alligator into biting his arm and poured beer into the animal's mouth. You'd think that this guy was, like, maybe in his lower 20s, but no, he's 27. Uh, the outlet, the news outlets report 27-year-old Timothy, uh, I don't care about his last name. The fuck and, was that? I don't know, I don't hear anything. I did, it was over there. Probably a rabbit, because there's a lot of rabbits out here. And, uh, Timothy, and 22-year-old Noah Osborne were charged last week, uh, with unlawful Unlawfully taken out. <laughs> Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission officers began investigating in August, this is last year, 
following a complaint of Osborne catching the alligator in Palm City and uh, handing handing to Kip Kip appeared in a video to let the reptile bite his forearm. The video also shows Kip feeding the alligator beer as it struggles. That poor alligator was force fed beer. Oh no. <laughs> Tonight on Corios. I'm not ranting about shit. It's fall. I'm not in a bad mood. But I did find something that caught my attention. <laughs> There's like monkeys above us, I swear to God. There's leaves falling out of the trees. Why did it sound like metal? Alright, I found something very interesting. It's called mythical meats. They're exotic meat sticks. Alright. We got ball sack. Basil, basilisk. That's alligator mild with beef. Mm. We have chupacabra. Oh. Chorizo Mexican style. That actually sounds fucking awesome. Probably all beef. We got dragon. Oh. Alligator Cajun with beef. We have griffin. Ostrich. That's, I feel like that's illegal. We have kraken. Duck maple. That might be good. We have Loch Ness Monster. Beef and wild buffalo flavored. Uh, then we have Pegasus. Antelope with beef. We got Phoenix. Ew. Beef and peasant. Ugh. Who wants a peasant? We have Unicorn. Smoked beef. And we have werewolf, 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 venison teriyaki. Oh. Their flavors actually sound pretty fucking good. Not gonna lie, I'd probably I try them all. Yeah. I, Except I would, for the ostrich, I don't know about I ostrich. Might just be like chicken. Yeah, it probably or turkey. Would be. I feel like it would be like more like turkey. The ones that really caught my attention was the chupacabra, kraken, and dragon. Oh. Yeah. I want to try duck maple. I feel like duck Sounds maple would be good. I like duck. And, I mean, for the the low, low price of $25, oh you get the God. sampler pack. Oh. Which oh, is right. one of each, so. It's not too bad. I think. Hang on. Yeah, 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 because I just read off all the flavors. It contains 10 sticks. <sighs> so, in theory, yeah, I mean, it's like $2 a stick in the store anyways. Five dollar shipping, so it's kind of worth it. It's kind of fair. They probably, t- I mean, you get free shipping on orders over forty nine dollars more. So you just buy a couple of the sampler packs, and boom, free shipping. And what website is this? Mythicalmeats dot com. It's not a sponsor. I wish it was. No, but you could subscribe and save to get ten percent off and pay the twenty two forty nine. We don't have a promo code. I wish we did. No, yeah, we're not cool like that. But we thought Mythical Meats deserved a shout out because, I mean, it's not every day you be, you be come across fucking dragon meats and ostrich meats. So, speaking of websites, you can <laughs> catch us on Teespring to buy our shirt uh, at uh, www teespring.com slash store slash Dillon Street General Store. I'll put a link in the description. You can buy a phone case, a sweatshirt, uh, two versions. You know, you can buy an exclusive Dillon Street General Store t-shirt, which is pretty fucking cool. I'm wearing a sweatshirt right now. He's wearing a sweatshirt right now. Uh, Keep your eye out. They're fucking warm. Keep your eye out because uh, we will be coming out with a new shirt soon we're gonna wait for a show but i don't think shows are gonna happen anytime soon yeah not around here we did just get moved into phase two of phase three whatever that means we'll see in 2021 yeah and also check out uh pro wrestling tees 
Uh, we do have a t-shirt up there. We'll have more in, the, uh, in time. And also, if you didn't catch last week's episode of Brattlebrook, we'll head over to our YouTube it. or Facebook. Uh, catch catch Brattlebrook uh, on Tuesday nights at 8.15 on YouTube. Uh, Dylan Street Boys. Just check it out. And that concludes episode 15 of Swamp Swamp Talk. 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 Swamp Talk! Oh, 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 oh,